The Army Substance Abuse Program stages a performance of the water pipe on Broadway. More on that in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, September is Insider Threat Awareness Month and Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. Plus, the Washington Nationals are hosting a military spouse employment event. These stories and more, but first at this month's town hall, Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp and Kimbrough Commander Colonel James Maker covered a variety of topics, including an all-services sick call starting at Kimbrough on October 1st. Colonel Sapp briefed the community on an upcoming full-scale exercise and promoted the Community Information Expo. The Community Information Expo. So on October 5th from 3 to 6 p.m., uh, 1500 to 1800 for you military types. It's a great opportunity to come out and see what's available to you both on and off the post. And so the idea is getting as many exhibitors and vendors together. The expo features more than 35 participating agencies, directorates, and community partners. To find out more, go to me.armymwr.com. And if you missed the town hall, you can watch it in its entirety on our Facebook page. Meanwhile, the Army Substance Abuse Program, or ASAP, presented the stage play The Water Pipe on Broadway recently at the Post Theater. The play focuses on the dangers of vaping, telling the story of a young woman succumbing to depression and then suicide as a result of her exposure to vaping. Garrison Command Sergeant Major Andre Welch concluded the event with some brief remarks. The information provided um, throughout this event shed a little light on some stark reality with regards to vaping and once a once thought um, safer alternative has unfolded to a new set of health risks um, affecting not only our physical well-being but also our mental health. Um, the correlation between vaping and increase and the increased risk of depression, anxiety cannot be ignored. In a related story, September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month. We spoke with Fort Meade Suicide Prevention Program Coordinator about some special events planned for September. And this year's Awareness Month theme, you are a light in someone's life. There's a sense of responsibility that you should have about uh, uh, being there for each other uh, as family members, as friends, as battle buddies, as co-workers even, uh, because you never know how a smile, how a, hey, how you doing? can impact someone's life in a positive in a positive way, right? So we're gonna basically provide everybody an opportunity to come out and get trained on the annual suicide prevention training. So we're gonna do four one hour trainings throughout the day. So if you need to come get current on your on your training, by all means stop by my office uh, and you can get trained up and, and get certified for the for the rest of the year. Um, as far as the panels go, we're gonna we're gonna have a panel on the 14th and that panel on the 27th, the one on the 14th is going to be on success stories. So people are going to come in and discuss how they overcame suicidal crises. Uh, then the panel on the 27th is going to be on leadership. So we're going to have a host of senior leaders and, and key personnel in the installation come out and have a discussion on their role that they play and the responsibilities that they have. In other news, September is also National Insider Threat Awareness Month. It's a campaign dedicated to providing information on insider threat programs, information sharing, reporting concerning behaviors, and managing insider risk. Here's more from the Defense Counterintelligence and Security Agency. I am an insider. I am an insider. I am an insider. I am an insider. We are insiders. And sometimes we make mistakes when we just don't know what to do or we have other intentions. But we need your help to protect our nation and our communities. To help each other. Be the first line of defense. Be aware of actions that should cause concern. And speak Say up. Say something. Use your voice. Help someone. Let's support each other. Report. Because when you share information early, you can make a difference. Every September, learn how sharing information with insider threat programs can help deter, detect, and mitigate insider threats. To find out more about National Insider Threat Awareness Month, visit www.cdse.edu. And finally this week, if you're catching the show before Monday, September 18th, and you're a military spouse, this might be of some interest. The Washington Nationals are hosting a military spouse employer contact event on the 18th from 10 to 1 at Nationals Park. It's an opportunity to meet with local employers looking to hire talent within the military community. Parking is free, but space is limited. You can scan the QR code here to register. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great mead week.